Okay, so I'm back here with uh, Jane Hatton and we're going to be talking for this module about self-employment. Obviously, Jane, you mentioned earlier that you run the Jobs Board Even Break and gave us a, a little bit of information about that. But it'd be great just to hear more your journey into self-employment and why you took that step and I guess any of the fears you had, but the sort of positives as well of, of how it's worked out. So would, would you like to share that story with us? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, I became self-employed. Oh, blimey, 20 something odd years ago as a trainer initially. Um, and that was because it fitted around my lifestyle at the time because I was a, a mother of young children okay. and it meant I could, you know, work hours that suited me and suited them. And if they got an assembly I needed to go and see, I could fit it all in. Sure. And so it worked well, you know, as my lifestyle. Then I was disabled in those days. Um, when I became disabled, um, I wasn't able to deliver training, which is what I used to do for a profession. And um, so I set up my own business and employed trainers who could go out there and do the training mm -hmm. for me. Um, but what that meant was it was flexible for me. If I had a bad day, I think lots of people with disabilities have fluctuating conditions yeah, or, or even if not fluctuating conditions, days when the, you know, the medications kicked in and, and uh, you know, the, the, the side effects are worse mm -hmm. or days where the pain's worse than others. And so it meant I could regulate my own um, activity to suit how I was feeling on that particular day. Sure. And even break is quite new. I've only been running that since March. Okay. And I used to have offices and staff, the training business, because of the public sector mm -hmm. spending cuts kind of um, had to be scaled down a lot. So I'm now working from home um, as a self-employed person. Mm -hmm. And um, I find it, I mean, there are disadvantages. I get quite lonely. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I like working in an office with lots of people. Yeah, sure. um, but on the other hand, um, you know, there's a day when you wake up like today and it's very, very icy outside and I haven't got to worry about scraping ice off cars or, yeah. you know, if I get stuck in, in, on the way to the office, I'm going to be in real big trouble because like other people, unlike other people, I can't just get out of the car and walk. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so working from home gives all of that flexibility that, you know, I've got everything around. I'm, everything's very handy. Mm -hmm. And I can be flexible in terms of, you know, if it's a really bad day and I'm really struggling, then I just do very low-level administrative type stuff. Yeah. If I'm feeling quite powerful and, and uh, motivated, then I can do some more energetic stuff. So it's much more flexible than working for an employer who will have, you know, those external expectations. So there's good and bad, but I think overall it's probably probably quite good. Sure. And with your um, specific disability, you have to lie down a lot of the day, don't you? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not able to sit. Uh, it's the most ridiculous disability on the planet, I think. I can't yeah. sit. So I can't sit at a desk. I right. can't sit in a car. I can't, um, you know, sit in meetings. I can get to meetings. I can be transported lying flat. Sure. Uh, access to work pays for the driver. But then when I get there, I can stand with my back brace and my crutches, but only for a limited length of time. So people yeah. have to be accommodating of that. And generally speaking, um, you know, people are. Sure, but obviously sure. working from home, I don't have to worry about the fact that I can't sit at a desk. Yeah. I can use a computer just as well as anybody else can. I can use a phone just as well as anybody else can. And, you know, as, as far as the, the output of what I do, it's just the same as somebody who's sitting at a desk. Yeah. It makes no difference. And I'd imagine the advancements in technology have enabled that a lot more as well in more recent years too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, things like this now, you yeah. know, we haven't got to be in the same room. I haven't got to travel somewhere. I can deliver webinars, you know, from my bed. Nobody knows I'm lying on my bed. Sure. I just they just hear my voice. Um, so, yeah, technology has been amazing, really. Social networking in terms of marketing is um, yeah. fantastic. You know, when you have a, your own small business and you need to tell people you exist, you need lots and lots of ways of doing that. And, you know, social media is fantastic. And 10 years ago, it just didn't exist. Sure. And that's how we connected as well, wasn't it? Through, through absolutely, yeah. Media, so. Okay, cool. Before we wrap up, is there any overarching advice you'd have for any other disabled person who's looking to go into self-employment for whatever reason they maybe have? I think just lots and lots of research. Um, there's a sort of feeling that, you know, you start a new business and from day one you're earning money. And that very, very rarely happens. So, you know, if you're going to go self-employed, do you have enough money or benefits or something that's going to keep you going until the business starts to bring in an income yeah. um, and that's very much about you know researching looking looking for information and also just researching like any small business is there a market out there are they going to pay for what you offer what's your competition why are they going to go to you rather than somebody else it's all about that that research really find out as much as you possibly can and then go for it sure and i'll share lots of other links that sort of places where people can go and talk about that advice as well so course, we'll share yeah. that too but thank you very much best of luck with even break do you want, do you want to share the um the url as well on the video
Yep, it's www.evenbreak.co.uk. Come and have a look, see what you think, and um, if it's for you, great. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Jane, and I'll catch okay. up with you again soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.